Welcome to This Week at LSU Eunice. I'm Alexis. This week we'll look at one of the toughest classes offered at LSU Eunice, Dr. Michael Alamal's poetry, and we'll take a look at Bengal athletics. On Tuesday and Thursday mornings, the southeast corner of the second floor of the Science Building can smell a little different than the rest of campus. It's mostly the smell of formaldehyde used in preserving animals, and students are knuckles deep inside these animals learning anatomy. Darian takes a look at Biology 2152. Warning, a few of the following images could be upsetting to those who are a little squeamish. Biology 2152, Comparative Anatomy of the Vertebrates, is one of the toughest classes offered at LSU Eunice. Associate Professor of Biology Avery Williams explains that students study the anatomy of three different animals and will dissect those animals in the lab. In the laboratory, the students dissect three different animals. Uh, they begin with the shark, which represents a uh, primitive vertebrate anatomy. And then they segue to the mud puppy, which is an aquatic salamander, to symbolize the transition from aquatic to terrestrial life. And then finally, the, the pinnacle of the laboratory is uh, the cat, which represents uh, mammalian anatomy, which is very similar to uh, what you would see in humans. The class requires dedication and time management skills. There is no cramming in this class. I am also taking organic chemistry two, physics two, and literature along with comparative anatomy. So I do spend most of my time studying comparative anatomy because it is the most, it does contain the most material. Um, so I think probably a good three hours a day go to studying comparative and then the rest is for all my other classes. Biology 2152 is one of those classes that prepares students for professional schools. The large amount of material and amount of time needed to study and prepare for class is indicative of what one will face in a medical school setting. Uh, and one word to describe it would be stressful. Uh, you're always on your toes. You can't, you can't go one day without looking at it. Uh, it's just too much information in a short amount of time. The class has four credit hours and is offered in the spring only. Students need eight hours of biology before taking the class. But don't take the course if you aren't planning to study hard. You work so hard and you learn so much and I think at the end of it we're going to really realize that it's going to help us in the long run. Reporting from Science Room 146 on my last assignment, I'm Darian Swallow. Back to you Alexis. Darian will be moving on to the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. We wanted to thank Darian for her work here on the student media and we wish her the best. We put together a little something to say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks everyone. It's been an awesome year and I hope that I can eventually do this in the future again. Thank you. That's it for this week. No. <laughs> Biology 5220. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the right class. This is the only dual credit program of its kind. Wait, nope. Yeah. That's far back. Okay. Through a $230,000 Louisiana Workforce Development Grant. Okay. On Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. Early registration begins March 18th for the. So we'll be back next week with another week. Oh, there's a bug right there. <laughs> I'm like touching the leaf. And That's it for this week at LSU Eunice. Oh, should I smile? Yeah, I should at least be smiling about it. <laughs> Ready? No, I was like, peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's, it's awkward now. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> if you would like to work for LSU Unit Student Media in the fall, be sure to stop by Science 128 in August and pick up an application. The Campus Activities Board and Student Government Association is offering free supplies for final exams in the KDN Center. Students can pick up free Scantrons, blue books, pencils, and pens at the table in the Union. 
The Student Government Association recently held elections. Peyton Miller of Crowley will serve as the SGA's 2013-2014 president. Victoria Porsley, Kyle St. Pierre, and Stephen Trosclair will fill the other offices. Dr. Michael Alamo presented some of his original works at the Louisiana Review Reading Series last week. Genius is minute. Take this. The hinged metal lies fast together like husband and wife rediscovering each other one sudden night. But separate the top from bottom and try to force them back together. Nails fly across the room. This subtle insight keeps us groomed keeps us from drawing blood when our separate dreams press toes into our sleeping flesh. Several LSU Unis students also performed during the open mic segment of the night. Let's take a look at some upcoming important dates. The bookstore wants to remind students that book buyback will begin at 8.30 a.m. May 6th and run through May 13th. It is important to include all CDs and any extra pieces bought with the book when trying to sell the book back to the bookstore. May 20th will be the first day to charge books using financial aid. The Lady Bengals softball team honored their sophomore players at their last home game. Taylor Seymour, Brooke Thomas, Kelsey Oye, Pam Wainwright, and Randy Vosberg were recognized before their final home game. The team is off to regional tournament in Mississippi next week. A win or second place finish will send them back to the national tournament. Basketball's Lita Palita Palu will play next season at Arkansas Tech in Russellville, Arkansas. Um, I had a great visit over there. And I liked the place and the campus. It was really big. And the coaches made me feel like I was home. And that was the main reason why I chose to go there. Um, off the court was when we went to Kate Falk's house as a team and we ate boiled crawfish. It was really fun. And we had um, the chance to spend some time all together as a team. And it was pretty fun. And on the court was my um, sophomore night. Today was my last game here in LSUE, and um, we won the game by three points, and I set the record for um, most three-point shots made in a game. I want to thank my teammates and my coaching staff for helping me to go to the next level and play for Arkansas Tech, and I'm going to miss them a lot because I felt like they were my family here. So. I hope they will come visit me in Arkansas Tech and watch me play. Μου άρεσε πάρα πολύ που ήμουν εδώ. Εύχομαι καλή επιτυχία την επόμενη χρονιά στις Lady Bengals. The second ranked Bengal baseball team is currently 42 and 8 on the season. They will head off to Mississippi to their regional tournament. They have already clinched a berth in the regional tournament. However, they are still waiting on conference play in Mississippi to decide the exact location of the tournament. A win at the tournament would send the Bengals back to Enid, Oklahoma and a chance to defend their national title. That's it for this week at LSU Unis and for the spring 2013 semester. We'll be back in September with more campus news for the new year.